So hello and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I'm out in darkness and today I'm going to be doing some lure fishing for bass. Now, I've not been out and done a night session on bass in God knows how long. It's been a fair few months. Um, the last one I can actually remember was way back in April. So I don't think I've really gone out over the summer months um, in darkness, which <clears throat> to be honest, I tend not to do. You get so many hours of light, um, there's plenty of bass about, so I never really see the need to go out at night. However, the nights are drawing in now, um, the temperature's dropping a little bit, the change of weather's definitely here. So it's a good time to um, look for some bigger bass. And currently at the moment, it's um, we're well into the first week of October now. I think it's the 7th today, 7th of October. And there's currently a uh, little free competition going on on the Saltwater Lure Fishing Facebook group which is sponsored by Mr. Fish um, and Fish Island TV. Now it's very simple, um, it's free to enter for anybody. You go out, if you catch a bass over a certain length, um, you, can, you can measure it with your card and the photo, add it to the Facebook group and you're in with a chance of winning some vouchers from Mr. Fish. I believe there's first, second and third prizes. Um, so that's ongoing at the moment. Like I said, I've not been out. I've not even done any bass fishing over the last week. So this is my first time out this month. I've got my card with me. I've got a little measure. So if I do happen to catch something, um, I could possibly enter it. Now I'm going to be using a variety of lures. However, they're mostly soft plastics tonight. Usually I carry three small lure boxes with me when I go out. Tonight I've just got the one. I've condensed it all down. Um, to be fair, two of my uh, lure boxes are full of surface lures, so I'm not going to be using any of those tonight. It's all soft plastics and I've got two shallow diving lures. Now the two shallow divers I've got are both IMA, one's a Hound Glide 125 and the other is a um, Suzuki 140. And then I've got a few other soft plastics, some scary eels. I've got some soft plastics from Mr. Fish, the paddle tails um, and the little stealth worm uh, one as well. And I've got a couple of other things as well. JJ Minnow, um, little seven gram fish black minnow as well. So I'm gonna be chucking those out and we'll just see how it goes. Now I've not been to this spot in quite some time, um, actually quite a while. I don't think I've been here throughout the whole of the summer. So it's my first time here in a few months. I did drive past today and there is quite a bit of weed on the beach. So there are going to be certain areas which I don't think I'm going to be able to fish through. It was flat calm this afternoon when I drove past. However, tonight um, we have a little bit of a swell. It's only a one, two foot wave breaking on the beach. But um, yeah, when you get a fish into the shallows, it can just be a bit tricky, especially with those patches of weed about as well. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Um, I'm using my normal lure rod, Shimano Air Nos, 7 to 35 gram, which is a nine foot lure rod. Um, I've got a Shimano Vanford XG 4000, 20 pound braid, um, which is currently dyed with J braid, I believe. I'm using a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and one of the little soft plastics on the end. So I'm going to head down the beach. Hopefully we can find some, uh, find some fish. It'll be lovely to enter one, but I'm just, I'll just be happy to catch anyway. So let's get to it and see what we can do. So this is the lure I'm starting with. This is the uh, paddle tail, the mixed stick paddle tail. I've got a 5.0, I think that's a 7 gram and um, Berkeley Fusion hook on there, so very strong hooks these. I've just tucked the hook into the lure because like I said that weed's right on the shoreline so I don't want to be catching any of it. So just had a couple of casts already, moving along the beach just trying to avoid all those patches of weed. So hopefully we can find a fish soon. So you can probably see here, this is all the weed washed up on the beach. Now I've had about 10 casts. I even changed lure to a Evo Bass launch and um, I'm just, I'm still getting weed every cast. So what I'm gonna do is hop onto some rocks and give it a go there into some deeper water. Well, I'm into my first bass here. And I just did something. Hopefully this stays on. Let's get him up. There we go. First bass. Easy. Whoa. Okay. 
Now that's not actually a bad fish. Could be worth a measure, it's probably only about 45. Now, I'm gonna explain what I've just done because I've given this advice to people in the past and I thought I need to follow my own advice, but first of all, let's sort this fish out. Right, so let's get a measure. 51, I'd say. I'd say that's 51. I'm gonna take a quick photo. So there we are, not a bad bass that. I'm gonna say that's 50, I'll give it 50. But yeah, not bad at all. So a nice bass there, 50 centimetre bass, so enough to weigh in, but it's definitely not going to be a winner. Now, let's get it back in the water and see if we can find another. So hopefully you can see me okay here. I've just got a little light with me tonight and uh, the batteries on it are getting a bit low. Now, as I was walking along the beach, I saw all that weed. I was getting weed, I had about 10 casts, getting weed pretty much every cast. I've moved on to the rocks. Once I got onto the rocks, I put a white JJ Minnow 17 gram soft plastic lure on. I was casting it out, I maybe had 12, 15 casts at maximum. Absolutely nothing happened. Then I thought to myself, I realized how light it was, right? And I knew we were coming up to a full moon. It's not quite a full moon, but it's almost a full moon. So the, the evening is very light. I'm using a white lure and I thought to myself, I give this advice to people quite often, that on the lighter nights, use a darker lure. Now a darker lure will also work really well on a very dark night. However, on a lighter night, it just gives off that bit, of, bit more of a silhouette in the water. So that's when I changed to a scary eel black um, this is the, I think this is the Black Tide, Black Tide Eel, um, it's called. Now, the Scary's Eel I've had with me since the first day I ever started bass fishing, and I still carry, with me, with, uh, carry them with me to this day. Admittedly, haven't used them in a very long time, but I always know they're there in my box. So, following my own advice, put a darker lure on, that was first cast. Five or six winds into the retrieve, and bang, I got hit by a bass. Now, that could be complete coincidence. However, I'm gonna get the lure back in the water, and we'll soon find out. I'm in again. Oh, has it come off? Oh no, it's still on there. A lot smaller, I think. Yeah, this one's smaller. Definitely not a way up, but still nice to get another bass. Can we get them up? Yes! Well, that scary zeal is working a treat. I'm gonna get away from the, uh, from the shoreline because I don't want to put my light on the water too much. It's a very still night. I don't want to be putting any of the fish off. Oh, there we go. Not a bad size that. Probably 42, 43. Ain't gonna bother measuring that one. But lovely to see another bass. Hooked right in the bottom of the lip there. Dead centre. Now with the first one as well, it was actually a little bit of a subtle take. Oh no, he's ruined my lure a little bit. There we go, he's off. So, third cast after the first fish, and we've got ourselves another. A bit smaller that one, I'm not gonna bother measuring it. I reckon, if I had to guess, I'd say it was 42, probably 42 max. But, once again on the Sidewinder, Black Eel, absolutely brilliant. Now, I'm gonna get this one back in the water. So I'm just gonna chuck this guy back into the gully here. One final show of him. 
But yeah, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but he's got a bite mark towards his tail, end of his tail. Off he goes to fight another day. That's five casts with the scary zeal and two fish. So it would, I, I would say that it definitely is the lure making the difference. Now, unfortunately, when filming at night like this, usually I would sort of film the camera looking down a little bit, show you the sort of speed of retrieve I'm doing and stuff like that. I'm right next to the water's edge, so I've not got my light on at all. Luckily, with it being so light, it's great for me because I can see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I don't want to put my head torch on. Obviously, if I hook into a fish, I'll flick the torch on, flick the camera on, and try and film as best as I can. But dead slow retrieve, that's all there is to it. I cast the lure out, fishing into relatively deep water. I let it sink maybe three or four foot, and I'm just slowly winding. It's just a gradual wind like that. I may give it the odd twitch every now and then, but literally it is just a slow, gradual wind. Now the takes are actually quite subtle. Um, they're not like big wallop takes. It's just like, it feels like a, oh, what's that? And then before you know it, the fish is on. So yeah, great start. Um, really paid off moving on to the rocks. Um, that tide's dropping really quickly. We've got spring tides. So I, I want to utilize the time I've got and, uh, and get a few more casts in. So I've had about 10 casts more. Now, when I say the tide's dropping, I really mean it is absolutely flying out. I reckon I was fishing into maybe 12 foot of water um, when I first caught that first fish. Now there's maybe four or five foot of water there. Um, so it's really, really zoomed out. Now I had 10 more casts and I thought to myself, I'm definitely gonna move. So what I did is I shone my head torch onto the water just to see if I could see any bass in there. Um, it looked pretty pretty clear and quiet to me so it's got me thinking either that little shoal of bass that were there are either vacating the bay or coming into the bay now we've got rising tides at the moment so obviously the tides are getting bigger and as I said they're spring tides so all that weed on the beach this low tide is going to be lower than this afternoon and yesterday so what I'm thinking is, if I go on to the beach now, it should all be clear. Um, so I'm still on the rocks, I'm gonna head over back onto the beach, check it out, have a few casts, and uh, we'll go from there. So I've just got back onto the beach, and I've taken the scary off. Now the scary's a little damaged, um, it's still swimming fine, but I'm gonna try a shallow diver, because I can get this out a little bit further, just in case those bass are a bit further out. Um, it looks relatively clear. I am probably going to pick up a bit of weed here and there, uh, especially using this with three trebles on it. But uh, if it's too bad, I'll switch back to a softy. We'll just see how it goes. So I'm back up the top of the beach now. Now I've been here for an hour and I'm gonna call it, call it at that. Um, I never intended to stay out for too long today. And to be honest with you, I've come back onto the beach. There is still quite a bit of weed in the water. Not as much, um, a lot of it is on the shoreline. But uh, since the tide's so low, there's actually some, um, some weed further out, about 15, 20 meters out, which comes off the seabed. And every time I'm casting, the tide's so low, I'm just getting snagged up in that. Now, I switched back to a scary zeal, the uh, green scary zeal, um, for the last couple of casts. But uh, yeah, nothing happening, so at least we got those two bass as I moved out onto the rocks, which is definitely a bonus. Now, it's been fun. It's an absolutely beautiful night. It's dead still. Um, the wind's meant to pick up overnight, but at the moment, it is, it's dead still. The sea's flat calm. That swell's dropped off quite a bit as we're approaching low water. But I think it's coming up to about, it's gone midnight, so it's coming up to about half past 12. Um, I'm off out early tomorrow anyway, so I was never gonna stay that late tonight. So it's just gonna be a short video um, for this evening. Now, now that winter's coming up, um, I'm definitely gonna be out doing a lot of bass fishing um, in darkness. So I've got a few ideas in mind of some night videos I'd like to do. Um, filming them is just the main issue. That's the main issue about, about fishing at nighttime. Well, lure fishing anyway. 
when you're doing bait fishing, you can have a few lights set up and you're in one place, so it's relatively easy to film. With lure fishing, you're close to the water's edge. I personally don't like to have my head torch on too much um, unless I'm trying to land a fish. So yeah, it can prove a bit tricky. But anyway, I've got a few ideas, like I said, and hopefully we can go out and do that over the winter months. So keep your eyes peeled for those videos. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Plenty of uh, bass fishing videos on there, so feel free to check them out. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.